Hello everyone, I'm Hayden, and today I will be speaking about the famous artist Sandy Skoglund. A little background on Sandy Skoglund. She was born in the state of Massachusetts in 1946. She is a multimedia artist. She creates installation art and is a photographer. She attended Smith College in the University of Iowa. She studied printing, filmmaking, and earned a master's degree in fine arts. It usually takes her a few months to finish her work. She started out working with food and colorful environments. She did this because everyone loves food, so her work would naturally make connections with people. Now when we're talking about her style, it's clear to see that she uses surrealism. She creates everything by hand. Her work is a mixture of sculptures, photographs, and paintings. She colors everything and builds all of her objects. She uses colors to activate a powerful psychological response from us. Her colors convey emotion and meaning. Skoldin will often use monochromatic environments. Her photos can invoke various feelings, such as uncertainty, joy, fear, mystery, excitement, and look as if it is from another world. Skoldin has even described her work as a theme park. Another characteristic of Skoglund's work is her use of familiar environments. She takes something we see pretty often, but turns it into something that looks foreign and unnatural. Now onto her work, this one in particular called Radioactive Cats. We can see that she has made these cats by hand and gave them a bold green color to emphasize a point she wanted to make. The cats are causing a mess within this gray and depressing kitchen. The contrasting colors make the image eye-catching. They have broken the chair and the woman looking through the fridge no longer has a place to sit. The cats are also all over the room and they look normal despite their color. That is because Skoldin has expertly captured the posture and stances of a regular cat. They look like naturally moving cats even though they are green. Looking at the couple, they seem to be completely used to this like as an everyday occurrence. Skoldin has even said that she made these cats so they appear radioactive, in a way to reference nuclear properties. It seems like Skoldin is making a statement about how we as people have become compliant with the hazardous and dangerous things around us. Perhaps emphasizing how the environments we put ourselves in can drain us and wear us down. The weight of life can hold us down and we have become comfortable with it, and we are also unwilling to change it. In this next piece, called Revenge the Goldfish, we can see Skoldin has expertly crafted her objects and made them into vibrant colors. The blue and orange within the photo complement each other and give off a beautiful calming effect. We see an adult is sleeping, and a young boy is awake, sitting up on the side of his bed, looking towards the ground. He looks sad or deep in thought. The picture could be representing how the boy feels locked in or limited, which would explain why it seems like he is inside a fishbowl. However, due to what goldfish and the color blue symbolize, he could be in a calm, safe, and peaceful place, but feels like he wants to do more with his life, which may lead him to feeling depressed or helpless. On the other hand, goldfish represent change and transformation. So perhaps the boy is yearning for his situation to alter, or maybe he as a person is beginning to change. This photo is up for our interpretations. And this next famous piece, called Germs Are Everywhere, Skoldin seems to be making another statement like in her other photos. Here we see a woman casually sitting to herself while she is entirely unaware of the germs that surround her. Skoldin looks to be making a statement on how we usually ignore the unhealthy risks around us and don't seem to worry about it until it becomes too big of a problem to ignore. Much like radioactive cats, this photo focuses on subjects we may neglect. The room is entirely green, even the clothing of the woman is. The germs stand out so vividly because they are pink. This photo forces us to see and recognize where all the germs are. Once we see it, we are unable to ignore it. Here the photo called Fox Games has a scene completely coated in red. All the foxes except for one are gray. Like in the previous images, Skoldin has created a location that we are familiar with, but adds something that does not fit in to what we are accustomed to. 
This scene looks to be in a restaurant, but is overwhelmed with foxes. The red fox holds a squirrel in its mouth, further distinguishing it from the others. This photo, like the previous ones, uses repetition to emphasize what is occurring within the scene. The composition feels alive and balanced, and just like radioactive cats, the foxes look natural due to their postures. In concluding, we can see that Sandy Scoglin's work has many layers beneath the surface and causes us to react to the psychological effects they have. Her photos are truly surreal. She takes familiar settings, but turns them into a scene that looks and feels completely alien, but yet somewhat familiar. Her color use does an excellent job at conveying what we should be feeling, and it helps to set the tone for the photo. Her sculptures look natural, despite their colors and the environment they are placed in. Her photos look like we are peeking in on someone's imagination where the world is not always consistent. And of course, she is a spectacular artist, and I hope that more people will learn about her work.